candidates. Yeah, it's important for people to have those resources because you can go look up a candidate. You can go look up your representative. You can go look up people who've been in government and find out what they voted for, find out what they've been a part of, uh, so you know their stats. Uh, you know, for instance, everybody who was paying attention knew that Obama was going to continue to ramp up the war, even though he said that he was going to stop it. Mm -hmm. The reason you knew this is because he continually voted for the war. Yeah. I mean, these are things that should be very simple that people need to be uh, figuring out on their own. Yeah, don't allow yourself to be seduced uh, by their sweet talking, as our guest on a previous uh, episode, Greg Roberts, said. Um, that it's only about results. They'll tell you anything they want um, to get you to uh, contribute to their agenda. And uh, when they've got their power secured and they're in place uh, through uh, undermining your free thought and better better logic and thought processes, um, then they're going to act as they uh, intend. And that's uh, in a manner that has uh, no respect for your best interests. So make sure to fight for independence, to go for um, third-party candidates as much as possible, and to try and get us away from the duopoly of power of the Democrats and Republicans. All right. Well, thank you for joining us for another episode of Unstacking the Deck. Uh, next week, we're going to have our show based around the theme of the mainstream media. Um, we're going to analyze it, um, its stranglehold uh, on the information of the populace, and, uh, and the sphere of politics and economics and history and how it affects them. And for our guest, we're going to have Joe Shermis. Yeah, our guest will be Joe Shermis, who um, helps write the Steelhead uh, Local Magazine, a cultural and working class literary review. And uh, I'm sure some of you have checked it out, and I hope you will join us next week. With that, we leave you with a quote from uh, First President George Washington, his farewell address of 1796. Speaking on political parties, he said, They may now and then answer popular ends. They are likely in the course of time and things to become potent engines by which cunning, ambitious, and unprincipled men will be enabled to subvert the power of the people and to usurp for themselves the reins of government, destroying afterwards the very engines which have lifted them to unjust dominion. Thank you for joining us, and keep on stacking the deck.